Hello everyone. Welcome to TFOX.com. This is Arun Motori. In this Selenium Automation Tutorial Series, I am going to continue with the topic XPath Expression Locators. As part of this topic, guys, already covered the 25 parts in the previous videos. And this is the 26th part, guys, where I am going to cover the parent XPath axis. So, guys, let's get started. So, before moving ahead, you should have some idea about XPath axis, guys. Without understanding this XPath axis, you cannot understand the parent XPath axis. Okay. So I already explained this XPath axis in a very detailed note in the previous one of the previous videos, guys. So if you have not gone through that, just go through that and come to this session, guys. And at the same time, I'm going to give a small high-level idea or a kind of recap on this XPath axis before moving forward. So, guys. I'm going to give a small recap about XPath access. So guys, uh, let's assume that you have two UI elements on the page. And uh, where you have to locate the second UI element, you have to locate the second UI element using the XPath expression, okay? So, but unfortunately, even though we are trying to create XPath expression, we are not able to locate this U element, guys. This is a required U element, and we are not able to locate with the help of this XPath expression due to some XYZ reasons. So, in that case, guys, what we can do here is we can look for some other U element which is kind of near to this uh, required U element and locate that nearby U element using the XPath expression. Using the XPath expression, we are, we are going to locate the UI element which is near to the required element and uh, let's say we are able to locate it. Okay, now with the help of the XPath expression of the nearby element and, and by using XPath axis and by using XPath axis, we can locate the required UI element. Okay, what I mean to say here is with the help of this XPath expression, which was used for, uh, used for locating the nearby element, and with the help of the combination of this XPath axis, we can locate this required UI element, guys. So, so here, XPath axis is helping us in locating few more UI elements, which we are not able to locate them directly using the XPath expressions. That's how XPath ex axis makes the XPath expression locators, um, XPath axis makes this XPath expression locators okay so powerful out of all the remaining locators guys out of all the available locators xpath expression locators are the powerful guys just because of this xpath axis concept that is there in this xpath expression locators okay and uh, what actually the powerful means so most of the elements that is 99.99 percent of the elements can be located guys uh, with the help of the xpath expression locators okay so this is actually is powerful okay so Almost everything can be located with the help of XPath uh, expression locators, guys. That's why XPath locators are the powerful ones, and XPath axis actually makes it powerful. Okay, so this is about the XPath axis concept, guys. Uh, I hope that you understood it. Now let's move to the presentation mode. Hope you understood the high-level recap of this XPath axis, guys. So now let's move to the next uh, slide, that is parent XPath axis. Okay, what is parent XPath axis? In the previous videos, I explained different type of uh, XPath axis like following, okay, uh, preceding, uh, following, then following sibling, preceding sibling. Oh, okay, such kind of uh, XPath axis I already explained, guys. So, guys, in the previous videos, I explained different type of XPath axis uh, that is following XPath axis, preceding XPath axis, following sibling XPath axis, and preceding sibling. XPath axis, like this four XPath axis already covered in the previous videos. And in the current video, guys, I'm going to explain the fourth, uh, the fifth type of XPath axis that is parent XPath axis. So what is this parent XPath axis? It's kind of very simple, guys. So if you are locating some HTML tag using an XPath expression, okay? So what whatever the parent tag of this current tag, the located current tag, if you want to locate the parent tag of this uh, current located uh, tag, then you have to use a parent XPath axis. Okay, let me give a small example, guys, so that you can understand it easily rather than in a statement format. Open the sample application, guys, that is compendium dev.co.uk. 
slash selenium slash basic underscore web underscore page dot html in the chrome browser like this uh, right click on some blank area and select inspect option so that you can get the the html code of this particular page under this elements uh, tab okay expand everything uh, so now let's say that let's say that you want to locate this body tag okay let's say that you want to locate this body tag unfortunately uh, due to some xyz reasons assume that you are not able to create some xpath expression we can which can locate this body tag but what you can do is like you can just uh, look for the nearby elements let's say this p tag is there okay so you thought of like locating this p tag and with the help of this p tag you want to locate this body tag for that guys uh, you thought of like creating an xpath expression for this p tag so you are able to create the xpath expression for this p tag let's assume and you are not able to locate also now using this xpath expression and the parent xpath access you can locate the body tag because body tag is a parent of this p tag if you are not able to locate this body parent tag directly you can locate one of its child tag of the body tag and then use parent xpath access to locate the body tag okay similar thing is same for this uh, this example also for example you are not able to locate this html tag directly okay in that cases you can locate any of this child tag child tags let's say you have located this body tag and with the help of this child tag and the parent xpath access you can locate this html tag because html is a parent of this body tag okay so that's how we have to use parent xpath access guys uh, to locate the parent tags with the help of the child tags so let's switch to the presentation mode. so hope you understood how, what exactly the parent xpath access does to the related xpath expressions now let's move to the practical demonstrations of this parent xpath access i'm going to demonstrate each and every example one after the another one guys okay so let me switch to the practical mode now for demonstration purpose so guys let's open this uh, sample application in the chrome browser uh, right click somewhere on the blank area and select inspect option so that html code of the center page will be displayed like this that's fine now let's move to the demonstration examples so first guys uh, let's locate the head tag and uh, after locating the head tag with the help of the head tag let's locate the parent tag okay so the same thing here for example you want to locate the html tag but unfortunately assume that you are not able to locate it directly in that case what you want to do is you want to locate one of its child tag let's say you want to locate the head tag and with the help of the head tag and the parent xpath access you want to locate the html tag because html is the parent of this head tag so for that guys let's first locate the head tag select this crow path on the right side and select this uh, related xpath option now say double slash head tag okay i'm able to locate the head tag using the related xpath expression as per our assumption this related xpath expression is locating this head tag as you can see xpath is xpath is got one is added to this head tag now guys since head tag is a child tag of this html tag what we can do in order to locate this html tag with the help of this head tag i will use the i will type slash forward slash followed by parent because html tag is a parent so parent xpath access we can use give double columns then give the tag name that is parent tag name that is html okay html and press enter you see html tag is getting located guys this is the entire html page is getting located and also you can see xpath is called one got added to the html that means that crow path is locating this particular html tag with the help of this related xpath expression okay so this is how guys uh, we have to use the parent uh, xpath axis for locating the parent tags with the help of the child tags now let's go with another example where i want to locate the body tag and with the help of this body tag i want to locate the parent html tag okay so so first i will look let's say you, you are able to locate the body tag and uh, with the help of the body tag you want to locate the html tag since body tag is a child uh, another child of this html tag what you can do simply say slash and say parent okay colon colon you html and press enter you see we are able to locate the en entire html tag now okay with the help of the body tag body related body tag fine now let's move to the another example it's kind of very simple guys parent xpath is very simple so i'm uh, let me go with uh, another example now so let me locate the parent of the title tag okay what is the parent of this title tag let's find it out if you expand this entire code here uh, okay so here you see the title tag is there you want to locate the parent of this title tag what is the parent of this title tag head is the parent of this title tag okay so let's locate this title tag and then with the help of the title tag and parent xpath access you want to locate the head tag let's find it out so first look at look at how to locate the title tag double slash title you have to say so you see the title tag got located here as uh, xpath is got one got added to the title tag 
now with the help of this relative xpath expression and the parent xpath axis i'm going to look at the parent of this title tag that is nothing but head tag so i will simply say forward slash here i will say parent colon colon i will give the name as the parent as head okay like this you see the head tag got located now okay that is xpath is equal to one got added to the head tag only one element is matching so this is how you can look at the uh, parent of the title tag now let's look at the parent of the p tags now let's look at the parent of the p tags so as you can see this two p tags are under the body tag is so parent of this p tags is the body tag let's look at this paragraph tags and uh, and by using this uh, uh, parent x path axis look at, look at the body tag okay since body tag is the parent of this paragraph tags so if you say double slash p press enter both the paragraph tags will be located guys as you can see first paragraph got located second paragraph got located as you can see x path is equal to one got added to the first paragraph x path is equal to two got added to the second paragraph by this crow path that means this related x path is expression is locating this two paragraph tags now with the help of this relative x path expression i want to locate its paragraph uh, its parent tag so for this both paragraph tags body tag is a parent tag so how to locate that slash parent colon colon what is the tag name body press enter guys you see body body tag got located okay so uh, x path is equal to one got added to the body so it's getting located fine now let's move to the next example locate the parent of the first p tag okay so for locating the parent of the first p tag so this is the first p tag guys what is the parent of the first p tag body right so how to locate this first p tag double slash p of if you say double slash p it will locate the two paragraph guys okay x path is equal to one for the first paragraph x path is equal to two for second paragraph is there but you want to locate the uh, parent of the first paragraph so let me filter uh, it to the first paragraph if i say p of one it will locate the first paragraph so you see x path is equal to one is only for the first paragraph so only for first paragraph is it is getting located now let's look at the parent of this first paragraph that is body tag how can we do that slash parent colon colon body press enter okay you see you are able to locate the body body tag with the help of the first paragraph tag and parent x path axis now similarly let's look at the parent of the second paragraph tag okay second paragraph tag how to do that just simply change it to p of 2 guys and the same thing follows parent of body okay p of 2 means this paragraph tag and parent of body it will locate the body tag because for this paragraph also body is a parent tag so guys uh, we are now done with uh, done with all the examples uh, for this parent x path axis purpose okay now let's switch to the presentation so guys i already explained all these examples uh, right so here ends this current video session guys in the next video session i'll i will explain the next x path axis that is child okay we are done with the parent in this current video session now in the next video session i am going to explain the child x path axis that's it guys see you in the next session thank you bye